These are unforgettable stories involving college football players. This heart-stopping moment is from 2020. This woman dangled by her hair for 45 agonizing minutes on a cliff. A Utah college football team came to the rescue, hauling her up tug of war style. The drama unfolded on Utah's Dixie Rock. There was maybe, maybe at, maybe at least maybe 20 guys on the ropes just, just trying to help. We play a team sport and to do that in a real life situation would really help us out. This man in the gray shirt reached out to grab the woman's hand with no safety gear. The Arizona police commander was first to find the rock climber. I said, hey, here's the situation. I said, can I borrow some of your football players, offensive linemen, defensive linemen, um, as muscle to help get her up on the cliff. Once we got her up to the edge, I was able to grab a hold of her harness and kind of lift her up on the edge. Water, water, water. So everybody just kind of pitched in. And it, it was impressive. Couldn't have done it without them. It's the elevator ride. It's the elevator ride. It's the elevator ride. This the elevator rap. This elevator rap song was sung by eight University of Southern California offensive linemen in 2016. They were passing the time while they were stuck inside an elevator. <laughs> Zach Banner videotaped the whole thing. You can see from the sweat on their faces, it was getting hot in there and smelly. Someone just farted in our top two suspects. <laughs> Toa Lobanon, <laughs> Jordan Austin, healthy, and that guy. <laughs> my phone's at two percent. This is probably my last message. I'm telling us to get out. They finally made it out alive. According to Zach, his teammates weighed too much. It's 2,500. It's 2,500 pounds. I'm and glad. apparently, the elevator guy had told us that elevators can actually hold up to like 10,000 pounds or something like that. But they have those. They have that limit in the sensor, so it literally stopped it. This the elevator ride. In 2017, this four-year-old boy smiled as he looked down from his hospital bed at the crowd waving at him. They're waving. You got waves. They're waving at you. Wyatt Hemphill held his head up to see the stadium below him. Wyatt was one of many kids at the University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital, thrilled with all the fans and players cheering for them in the middle of an Iowa Hawkeyes game. Toward the end of the first quarter of the game, everyone stopped to wave at the kids in the hospital next to the stadium. In 2016, these college football players went wild after witnessing this epic marriage proposal. Dion Pierre was a junior linebacker at Samford University in Alabama. He dated Jasmine Henderson since they were sophomores in high school. And his teammates joined in to help with the sweet serenade. In 2015, one college quarterback proposed to his girlfriend using the football stadium's jumbotron. <laughs> On the night of Auburn University's award banquet, Ashley thought she was surprising her boyfriend, senior Jonathan Wallace, with a farewell. After leading him out on the field blindfolded, Jonathan turned the tables and surprised her by popping the question. The first day that I saw you, the first day I met your family, I knew that there was something special between them. After a very moving speech, Ashley said yes. So Ashley Alejandro, <laughs> will you marry me? Yes. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andreas Wendell.